Welcome back fellow armchair generals. This is Gamer1745 here with my continuation of Panzer Corps 2. We had been starting with um, challenge for overruns but this has just turned into a bit more general play and we are going to see if we can take Moscow and all the victory X's before winter sets in. Uh, it's a tough one. I'm not going to grind my forces to nothing to, to do it. But if we can do it, great. If not, well, we'll take the loss and hopefully be in good shape for whatever the scenario comes after that. Okay, so now we're here. We're going to deal with some of the air units. Oh, we need to end the turn. Right, we, yep, time to end the turn. So we'll see what they do back at us. Yes, you're going out. Ooh, more than emotion, just emotion. A little bit of damage there as well. Oh, ooh, overstrength infantry unit. Danger, 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 Will Robinson. And you're coming in there. Mm, not good, but hopefully he'll survive. Yeah, I was worried about that. But it could have sort of historical, a bit more emotional damage than actual damage. Okay, we're in good we're in good shape. We're in good shape. Europe here we have Let's go for the stronger unit, just try to put it down to where it's weak and ineffectual. And any of its attacks. And mm, they don't make that. Ah, uh, they have the anti-aircraft gun. Let's risk it. Be bold. Okay. These guys. Well, they're not doing well. Should have, and so we well. I don't know if I want to get right up next to. That with our. Round attack units, if I remember correctly, are more susceptible to anti-air than. Fighters. They're too deep. You're sort of near that. But there's so much. That's why there would be so much suppression. I don't know if knocking one factor down off of that is of any use. But we might as well use you guys somehow. Okay, you can reach out here. So we'll go smash on the T-34 since they're the more dangerous units. Yeah, emotional damage. Air guns. Uh oh. Tank destroyers. Good thing I came and looked. We don't want to be hit hard. But they don't have. The, they're not tanks. The tank destroyers don't help them. Well. Yeah, I I hear you. Um but Rain of Fire. Um but a lot of, because you know this isn't like 
a you know Gary Grigsby's War in, War in the East or um, uh, Steel Panthers. Those are you know which you know the Steel Panthers you know a tank equals a tank a squad equals a squad and it's all um, yeah the Katushas look cool um, it's all specifically done out as um, you know specific units strengths details like that is as much as anything that we're looking at okay you come over here I know he's still around There we go. Bye bye infantry unit. Now here. They're getting a recon bonus, so they're. Plane Panzers. Very good. Now you come up here, see what's going on. We're going to move you to there. You're going to get elite re reinforced. You come back here and watch the bridge. Keep them from going to Smolensk. You keep marching up that way now. That's not close enough. Oh, I don't think we could have gotten close. No. Well, let's come up to here. Overrun. Okay, we're gonna. Ooh, T28. One attack, two attacks, because he has double attacks. So that basically ended the unit. Move up, support that from any sort of counterattack. my pioneers so you come up burn them out and you move up and now you come up and take the airbase denying the airbase to the enemy is always useful Don't quite get your question there, Arno. Well, I was going to say just don't need the air, the air reconnaissance this turn, but you never know what's coming. Now here, I know, um, okay, we'll do this. Yeah, we'll see how badly we get damaged. Okay, just emotional, that's good. That's all for next turn. Um, don't.
don't remember if I did. I may have. I'll ask you to look something up. Okay, so that is all looking good, and we're only five turns in it. That means we have 25 more to take Moscow up there. But we have to take all of the victory hexes. Good thing we reduced their strength some before they came after our um Okay, rain. I do suppose that means no air operations. Yes, no air operations. Okay. a little better odds. Don't know that I like them though. Now we have enough to properly reinforce that. Yeah, rain, my true bane. Okay, we push to here. Now we need to take here. We're going to start knocking down the anti aircraft. Weapons. I think we may be able to take this out this turn. I know we'll get some counter battery fire. I thought we would. Guess not. Now they're there, so let's surrender. Here. There we go. You come back to here because we know there's the big T28 over there. And they will probably want to come out and play.
Okay, Recon, you take that. Mm, this could be a problem, of course. We're going to use... That is something of a defensive setup there. And if the trait auxiliary force is bugged, just wanted to try this one out and I find it no way to buy. I don't know. I have not heard or seen anything about it. Now, I've not used it. I've just, you know, read the descriptions and whatnot of the, the trait. That is, we're expecting, what, one casualty? Yeah, for two. But we need to push. Well, two for two isn't great. Okay, let's see how well we can survive what's coming next. Yeah, sort of what I was worried about. Ouch. Okay, well. I made a mistake there. Pushing too hard to move artillery to support that without support for the artillery. Alright, well, these guys, can they go anywhere? Okay, they can dash out of danger. Good thing. Good thing. I can recover from my mistake. didn't go as well as I had hoped. That went all right. Now we want to get Bryansk here. But we now have Air power usage, yay. We're going to use these on them. Maybe not a hundred percent, but they're quickly becoming a not terribly important factor in the game. Now up here. thinking of. All right, well, that again 
significantly damage that aircraft. Uh, I'm sort of. I'm going to see if we take this town, whether these guys run to the south or to the north, uh, and what it all looks like. anti-tank guns so we probably don't want to get too near them with oh what do you call them oh tanks yeah um Okay, well. The run and hide plan of Gamer. Let's see what we can do. I'd rather have you all run, run away. Now you, we can just reinforce. Yeah, I don't know how how that works. I quite honestly, you're making me want to try it out. Not right now, but some other time, just to see how the mechanic works. See whether you can buy. Because I took it. To mean that you could buy auxiliary forces, but that don't follow you from mission to mission. Like here, this guy, you know, he's he's all tricked out. He's three stars. He's going to come to the next mission, be awesome, keep being awesome. Where if I just bought an auxiliary tank, Panzer IV unit, got to rebuy him every time and would be expensive and would be starting with no, no um, stars. Hey, Van Bishop, good to have you here. So I don't quite know how that works or whether the scenario just gives you more slots for that. You can push up to there. Okay. They can attack out if they want to. Okay, you hurt my unit a little bit. Okay, let's hunt the skies. Where are their enemy aircraft? How did you? Oh, you're still eight. Yeah, that's.
Okay, so... I think your best job right now is just to kill the Katushas. Maybe just sit there for the moment. Well, let's bring in... Yeah, you get to shoot at them. They get to do emotional damage. These guys, I want them over here. So it may take another turn to do this properly. Well, maybe not. Mm, no. Didn't need another turn. They're too weak. Oh, I forgot about the anti-tank gun. Gamer! You should know better. Well, but he's looking for more open slots because for auxiliary purposes. Now, down here, okay. Um, hmm, they reinforced the damn thing. Oh, hell. Oh, that works. That works. And yes, elite reinforcements. There's going to be a hell of an artillery barrage here now. Thank you, very loud truck. That frees up my tanks, so at least, well, let's use air power. Got to remember to use air power. What can we get to with this one? Mm, looking for big bad tanks to kill. Okay, well, at least you can shoot at some guys in the forest. Or drop bombs at them at least. You're a little closer, I think, and hope that we can get to here. Nope. Oh... Well, that didn't work out so well. Are you wondering why do it again? Well, I don't know that I have a good reason to do it again. We need to bring you over. Because you're the anti-tank gun. You guys, yeah. Spend lots of points. Save me from my bad, bad mistakes.
Yes, thanks for testing and reporting. I do appreciate it because it does helps all of us here watching now, later, whenever. And it also helps me when I make other videos. Now, now you're coming with the big guy. Well, you took a lot of damage, hardly did any damage to me. T-34s are getting shot up. Good, 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 good. You kill that, that's nice. That's not very damaging. That's more damaging. Engineers, bit of a specialized unit. Some things that do very well. Okay, well now we're down to just you. We want artillery though, and we have artillery. That's up here. We're gonna move it down here though. Okay. Because we need to take the victory hex. Let's bring the flame panzer down to here. The artillery over to here. Bring the reconnaissance down here. Stukas get up to here. Oh, we're raining again. Rain, rain, rain. Okay, got to deal with more rain. No air power. So how best to deal with this sucker here? Okay, a little more suppressed. Move this guy away over here. I want him up there. Oh, oh. Uh, can you do it? No, nope, you can't. Let's lower the barrel down. These are big. They got lots of turrets, but no real armor. Or no thick armor.
Okay, well, since these guys are down, oh, that, that, was, that was expensive. Well, we're not doing that again. Reinforcing just now on that. Okay, so, so far, so good. I'm enjoying it here. Yeah, got a lot of guys still hiding out in the woods. Ah, T26s show up. No one hardly noticed. Uh oh, that didn't work out well. You attacked out of your trenches. That was not smart. That wasn't smart either. Especially attacking plane panthers. Now that, they just killed one of my core units. Damn. Damn. I'm gonna live with it, but damn. Not my favorite activity. Okay. You come down here. on these guys. Oh, actually, let's let's come over here and look at... Ooh. First, let's take the town with the reconnaissance and move the reconnaissance up to here and then move the reconnaissance to here to see what we're seeing. Um, then you can come to there. Uh, no, hold on, hold on. No, we're going to reinforce you. And just regular reinforcements. You're not a core unit. No, not in this game. You can't reform lost units. You can build new ones, but you can't reform the, the lost ones. Not like the old game. Okay. Stukas. Why are you putting the Stukas to the back? That with the slowest... Or not very long range. Okay, boom, you're done. Hmm. Oh, you can make it to here. Good. Very good. And they're suppressed. And our bombers. Do we want to go there? Not so much, maybe. Maybe more down. Here. Okay, we have a lot of artillery here to smash. Yeah, that's not looking to be too smart. Well, well let's do it this way. And we might as well bring in some fighters to strafe it. Oh, they retreated. Okay, well. I don't know if quite it's a good thing because I wanted to use these guys without that. So actually that might not be that good of a thing. We'll use that and hmm, move into the trenches, fire at the suppressed troops. Now, Flame Panthers can attack. And the engineers, which should have maybe been sitting there all along, but these guys couldn't have moved up then. Now that's better. Hey, thanks for 
following. Crush, 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 crush. Overrun. Yeah, I know it was gonna hurt. I was hoping to hurt them even more, and it did hurt them a bit more. It's still a bit of... Yeah, you can get lost. You don't want to do that. Um, if you have um, heroes with them, I believe they die. I've not actually tested that out, but I believe that is the case. Armor in the forest is not the most recommended thing. Armor outside of the forest is a good idea. We'll retreat out ourselves from that. Oh. Yeah, overrun, oh well, but we still went out. Oh, actually, no, let's come over here and attack this unit. And anti-aircraft guns can be useful. I wonder where Borodino is on this map, or, or is relation related to this map. These no, these guys haven't moved. Okay, they can come up to here. Mm hmm. Okay, for the AA attacks. Here, see this? Here, at the beginning of the turn, you can switch it to anti tank or anti or, or ground mode. If it's in anti or I mean anti air mode. If it's in anti air mode and gets attacked, it will, though it generally loses the initiative in any, in any engagement, meaning the other unit gets to attack first, it will defend itself. But when it's down here like this in ground mode, it won't do anti-aircraft stuff. Now, I think there may be uh, one or two weak air units oh, down here. Well, there's actually a strong air unit down here, too. So I'm, But I'm not that worried about air attacks at the moment. And we had a tank sitting here. So it's best to use it in the ground. So um, I don't... I'm not sure from unit to unit. You can look at it. Definitely the the flak 88s can. Um, some of the others, I believe, as well. Okay, you come down here. You're gonna cross the river because the other side of the river is. Not so useful. Okay. Um, yeah, it's bad to be on the bridge. Let's move up onto the bridge. Um,
Okay, they repaired much of the Air Force, it looks like, or some of it. So we have to go air hunting, and yeah, we paid the price for moving on to the bridge. Okay, air, let's kill some air. Maybe we can fully bring them down. Nope, almost. Hmm. Well, I guess it's the only other one in range. There we go. Okay, well, they're down. At least the he's down. Reconnaissance is giving it some bonus, so we can more accurately bomb. Actually, that worked out better. Now let's see about finishing off these units here. Um, those are engineers, so what we're going to do is attack there with them. Well, we might as well strike with that while he's here. Oh, they actually retreated out. Okay, well, let's head these guys up here. We know we don't need that. And they're done. Very good. Oh, they could use some tank support, I guess. Especially the 75mm guns. Okay, so we're pushing well. I know we didn't attack with them. What I'm wondering is, is maybe using our using this turn to reinforce send replacements. This one is no, no, that's not pioneers. Not one of these were pioneers. Here they are. Okay, now will we get the pioneer benefit from yeah? Or... Yeah, we should have used that first, but we can still 
Make up for my mistakes a bit. There we go. Gotta be careful of that. Okay, well, what we're gonna start now doing is, well, I guess we're going to, mm, no, just switch air bases for the moment. Ooh, that's dangerous. I didn't realize how dangerous that was. Okay, well. Well, they still have the artillery piece on it. Forgot about these two guys in here. Man. All right. Okay, so. Anything that hasn't moved that should move. Or should reinforce that hasn't reinforced that should. You guys, um, we're using you as a bit of a reconnaissance. They fully moved. Okay, we're down two slots. Let's see what we can do with that. Maybe we should wait to the end. Um, hmm. we just don't have the money for replacements. Yeah, I think we will wait on that. Oh, hello, more T-34s. Just what we were looking for. Oh, hell, a lot more T-34s, and you just killed my... Well experienced reconnaissance troops. Okay, gamer, you just really um, had it bad. Now, these are non core units that look like they're about ready to die. Um, well, they retreated back. Good job. Okay, good job, artillery. You're supporting them. Still a little more vulnerable than I think they should be. Let's gain the star, yay. Okay, but. Ho, 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 ho. This is not good. This is not good. Okay, we've got to get ourselves organized. Uh, these are all T-34s. Mm. Okay, how far back can you get? Well, you can get all the way back. Okay, so that's a um, run away, run away real fast. Yeah, so we did that. Now these guys here are also going to see about running away. We're going to 
use them effectively and hit them twice and really munch that unit. Okay. The zone of control should keep that unit fine for this turn. Now we need to deal with the rest of this infantry here. Um, taking this back, yeah. for the moment. Okay, well that was a very good German-like counterattack on them. An immediate hard-hitting counterattack. Yeah, the problem with the heavy artillery um because we do have that, it takes six slots. This takes four or five slots. Unlike Panzer Corps, the original, or Panzer Corps one now, um, before it was just the prestige point. So if you had the prestige point, or, or well, they had, did have slots as in units, but it didn't matter whether they were uh, a weak 75 millimeter howitzer or a, you know, 210 millimeter howitzer it didn't matter it was just one slot but now different so yes they had slots sorry i was sort of saying no they didn't but yes they had slots but it's not varying upon um depending upon what what was in the units so that is something new something very new Okay, you're going to fall back to here because we got all these T-34s. So you're going to come back to here and hold this. You're going to come up over to here. You're going to... Yeah, we're low on things. So you're going to come up to here. Yeah, I'm not against the idea of changing the slots. It just changes your calculation. Now, I understand part of the reason is game balance, but I'm also looking at this from a, um, what units had historically, you know. Um, obviously, there weren't many of these big, um, howitzers now these were moved around on railways and then put on the tracks to sort of you know minor tactical situations so this should take lots of slots because it's like super rare and whatnot uh, again this is also not quite a super rare but fairly rare um, they didn't have lots of these either these were more core assets so yeah I don't know. Should this be four slots? I don't think so. Because this is a 150 millimeter, yes, but it's an infantry Geschütz, which has shorter range than this. Though it's mobile, yeah, so what? It's mobile. I would, I would do this probably three slots within this situation here. Um... These are pretty short ranged as well. See, they're going all the way down to two. I don't know, you know, I probably wouldn't make the 120 or 210 millimeter any more slots than this, or I would bring these down. Yeah, I'd probably go at five for that. So here, Pioneer, you know, I don't know if I would make the half tracks a slot. Even the armored ones. So like the anti-tank guns. That would 
would be an interesting replacement for our lost Stimgeschutz. So I don't know. Um, I'm not saying they're all wrong by any means, as you can tell, but it just sort of like I would be changing that around a bit. Mass attack with low low unit cost. Now, if we were talking the um, Hummel with 150 millimeter howitzer, I would definitely be on four slots with that. Um, because that is this mo motorized. And because we are talking about Panzer General, I don't know that I would have it more than, than the standard toad gun. It just, the big thing between this and what the toad gun should be generally within, within this game is less shots, less ammo. So I would go down to three on this for sure. I would do um, probably three for the 105 millimeter wasp and four for the Hummel. I don't know what it is. I mean, it may be some of that, but that's how I would do that. And so the wasp should have longer range than, than this, um, which it does because it's just two. This is three, and so the wasp should also be three. So it's a little less hitting power, a little greater range. So still balance out at three, just more mobile, fewer shots per capability, you know, per needing to reload it. Yeah, mobility is a factor, but I would sort of deal with some of that in the terms of cost as opposed to slots. Okay, we need to bring up, now that we've secured this airbase a little more, I know we still have that, but we, one infantry unit there, but we're going to need to shift these guys up. And maybe we'll shift these guys. Oh, um, well, we'll need to specify. Yeah, right down to here, so they're still sort of flexible. Let's put a couple of fighters down to here. Just take a look deep into there. Okay. Maybe we should move more Stukas down this way. I don't know. Can you hit any of their aircraft? Yes, you can. Um, yeah, let's take these guys out. Yeah, I agree. But see, where again, I'm not disagreeing with with the intention of making it more real. I'm just looking at slots versus economic cost. Um, make the economic cost more expensive for the um, armored motorized artillery versus the towed artillery, particularly. So it's just sort of that sort of balancing out issue there. Okay, this is looking fairly good considering our surprise three panzers, reconnaissance, you can move. You, oh, well, you should head down that way just in case so we can get there in time to be of some use. And you can fall back a bit. We see all the heavy units there. Again, in my opinion, this this scenario should either be super wicked hard or just really designed to fail. Oh, even more. And more. Oh no, it's just no, it's just these guys moving out. Okay. Just these ones moving forward out. And you're pushing on my Panzer fours very badly. Oh, you're going after this door. No, you're wrong. I don't know.
Okay, Tippett, yeah, I can be wrong. Uh, I still sort of think my evaluations are correct, but I could be wrong. I'll, I'll, I'll accept that I might very well be wrong on some of these. Boom. Boom. Okay, so we basically neutralized that one. Let's see if we can actually move any artillery around here. Not a good idea. Not a good idea. Nope. Part of the cost be the price lodge be constructed as rarity effect for reasons of realism. Moved to Estonia to live with his new girlfriend and she wasn't too pleased at hearing my brother was a communist. Uh oh, uh oh. Oh, your brother is a communist. Hmm, I wouldn't be too pleased to hear anybody was a communist either. Though, of course, I'm used to the idea of girls around here thinking they're communists. They don't know what communism really is. Probably your brother doesn't know either. Um, I mean, I'm not saying he hasn't read Das Kapital and everything else, but doesn't really, really understand communism, because in my opinion, you either have to come from a really sucky place or um, you wouldn't want to be a communist. And by that I mean like, yeah, peasant in Nicaragua, Nicaragua and, and everything really just really sucks there. And yeah, we'll move him down. We're rebasing and uh, yeah, I do know we're in danger of losing that air base and that is part of what is influencing me here. Yeah, but you see, <clears throat> uh, we're going to wait for the intermission here. <clears throat> okay, well, how do I put all of this? Um, I don't want to have everyone leave, so I'm not going to go on a big, long diatribe here. Um, Karl's, Karl Marx's book, if you know nothing else and you read it, it might just hold together. But Marx, one, didn't understand econ economics, <laughs> which is pretty bad. And two, he um, saw things too much in, in Malthian terms, and Malthus was wrong. We've grown food, you know, more food production. We're not, you know, it's not all of that. And so, tried to get me to read it when I visited him. When he lived in Cologne, I'd rather be dead than re read. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. And Paul, uh, yeah, I would say reading the books and living. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, communism better in theory. But you see, one, e even if you believe that equality was, you know, a equality of outcome, you know, meaning we should all live in the same conditions and like I live rather near I mean I don't you know not that close but I live rather near the coast here in California so I don't know how you judge somebody's conditions that live right next to the water and have a beautiful view or do you let no one live next to the water and everyone has to live inland here and in, in you know in, in greater LA where you can't see the water and you can only you know and the idea that you believe that it's good that it is good to have equality of conditions i do not i believe equality of conditions is a bad thing you've got me on the politics again where um now equality of opportunity or um equality before the law those kind of things yeah that's good but not equality of conditions okay i'm happy with somebody having 
a super expensive, uh, you know, super rare sports car out there that costs $20 million or something. That doesn't bother me in the slightest. And I may only get a cheapy runabout town car thing, whatever. I don't care that that somebody has more or better than me. Now, and this is where Marx looked around and saw people in grinding poverty and in places like Britain and Germany, people starving. Okay. Now, having somebody super rich and somebody starving within a society, there's multiple societies in the world. We can't change Africa without invading Africa and making and doing neocolonialism. We can't change. The communists were doing neocolonialism in Africa. The Europeans, before we're doing colonialism in Africa, you know, without doing Chinese or sort of doing a, a pseudo neocolonialism in Africa, unless we're going to forcibly go in and, ch and invade Africa, we can't change Africa. They're a different society. So we need to look at our own societies. So, yeah, if you have a society in the West now, in the modern West, and there's super rich, and then there's a bunch of super poor people that don't even have enough food, yeah. That is a bad, 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 bad thing. Um, but the idea that, hey, somebody has a private jet and I don't, I don't care. I don't see that as bad. Income inequality, to me, is not a bad thing. That is a just fine thing, so long as we all have basic needs taken care of. And so poor people in America, poor people, have air conditioning, have internet connections, have color TVs, you know, have, you know, have all this stuff. So, you know, that's the poor people in America. And if that's the poor, the state of the poor, yeah, it's, it sucks that they're poor. And I, I do, you know, have concern about their health care and other things like that. But yeah, I don't, I don't care about that kind of stuff. So, so yeah, I don't even believe in their in their idealism goals, let alone whether you can do it and have it have it work out. Well, see, yeah, I don't even think it's a good idea. To be honest, me and Dad had had um, conversations at dinner table about his beliefs, and I don't really think communism was work. Jokes about it not ever being done. Oh well, yeah, see. The idea had never been done properly. Communists don't like people. It's a fact. Communists don't like people. And you go, oh, no, I love people. Nope. Communists don't like people. Because what is key to, including in Marx, uh, look, is the new man. They want to reshape man. They don't think that the current state of man is good. They need to change the, the basic nature of mankind. Okay, and that's, um, you know, the Marxist view that it's necessary to happen. They're, they're progressives. They believe that humanity is progressing to this new state of being. And, um... It just isn't. Mankind hasn't changed. That doesn't mean we're, like, generally speaking, given up on the idea of, the, of slavery and other things like that. But the basic intrinsic nature of man hasn't changed, at least in recorded history. At least that's my view of it. And so the new man concept just, you, you gotta re, you got to use force, which means guns, which means killing people, and then somehow create this new ideal person out of all of that. Communists love the poor so much they ensure that, yeah, everyone's poor. Because it's equality of outcome and it's, everyone has to be poor. And so, yeah, even you guys are, you know, there is definitely the idea that um, in reality you can't achieve it, even if you think it's a good idea. See, I, I just, I mean rejecting the idea of equality. But yeah, even I do understand that people can legitimately go, yeah, equality would be good. Okay, I, I get that idea. I think it's wrong. I don't think it's the way things should be. But I get the idea. I am not, you know, I, I, I'm, I'm against the idea, but, but I don't necessarily think people are evil for thinking it. But it just doesn't, it isn't going to work with anything that's practical. I think 
I think we are further. Yeah, okay, we're going to get back. So that's just my thoughts on it. But yeah, poles aren't going to overly like. Or most, or not just poles, why am I saying poles? But, um, uh, elite reinforcements. Um, hmm. You come down here. To the engineers. Okay, you can't quite make that. Oh good, that pushes them back. Yeah, well. And yes. Only to that though, damn. Okay, well. Oh, they're all encircled now. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, this is rich. Okay. Okay, they're encircled. That sucks for them. Yes, back to taking Moscow. Hmm, okay, I, I'm guessing that these three T-34s were their sort of um, primary, not, I'm saying, no, I'm, I'm saying, I'm not saying they're, I think it's their every last tank, but I think that was their main sort of tank reserve. So what we're going to do is, let's see, you can get to there. So let's, let's come to here. Uh, I'll put out some reconnaissance in front. We're going to move up the artillery here for pushing in the near future. Seeing what's going on there. Oh, we may want to get these guys to help dig out the entrenchments just before we head back. A oh, little emotional damage. Um, yeah, let's move you up to here so we can recon a little deeper into there. Where's my other Stuka? These guys, these fighters, way back there. Okay, you. You come to here. Still, oh, there. No, that's not my Stuka. Where's my other Stuka? Okay, um. Here, air units. Okay, that helps you find air. Okay, one there. Okay, one did attack there. That one just moved down there. Okay, that's it. So. Yeah, maybe they got more. I don't know. Yeah, I have to take all all of them, um, all of these, by turn thirty. I don't think we have to actually take Moscow. I just we have to take all the 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 outs, outskirts. Yeah, you're gonna wait for next turn and some artillery barrages on them okay Ouch. 
Oh, I forgot to attack last turn with them. Oh, damn. Okay, well. Because they can really kick some butt. See? Boom. And it's cloudy, but... Which means we can still... Um... Yeah, I messed that up. Okay, well, we have that there. So our fighters are going to come... Um... Look up into the sky anti-aircraft unit and come here and shoot at them. Or at least do some emotional damage to them. Very good. Okay, well, that got them out. We're going to shift you over here for future operations. Well, didn't even really need them. Okay, well, let's... Move you up and use the tanks as a bit of cover. You have not moved either. You have. I am taking your point that these may not be it, but I... Far from sure either way. Okay, um... No, not looking like any. Wow, you're ping-ponging back and forth. Okay, infantry, we have trenches and we have bad guys back in the trenches. So we're going to move up here to start this slog into the... We might be able to come on their flank a bit here once we get Aurel. Every infantry type is ineffective against tanks. No, that no it depends on terrain type most assuredly. Like attacking, if tanks are in the forest and you can attack them there, infantry can do well. Um, and let's see, we can quickly look here. Uh, pioneers we can see that you know they can attack tanks um, at eight where the infantry here can attack at seven and the grenadiers 
at nine. So it it varies from type, you know, false familiars, you know, down at seven. So they, they all have some tank tank attack levels, but it so it varies on on what you're what you're doing and all that. Okay, so we got these, they've all moved. Um Okay, uh, regular reinforcements, I think. Okay, this is a bit of a pickle here. Well, I think we're going to end the episode here. Thanks for watching. Thanks for liking. If you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. You could follow me on Twitch. Love hearing your comments, so please post them below. See you next time for more historical gaming.